In every era, there have been men who sought the golden dream. Men who have always believed that just over the next hill lies the claim that will make them rich. These space prospectors rushed to Mars when priceless capillite was discovered. And many of them died of exposure and starvation. They rushed to Venus when the first gusher of gamma oil came in. Hundreds of them died or were lost in the rings of Jupiter when the fabulous gas strike was made there. And after them, like stealthy jackals feeding on carrion, came the space pirates and the claim jumpers, evil men, robbers and cutthroats, the outlaws of the universe. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. This is a warning. Repeat, this is a warning. Space pirates are at large in galaxy, piloting black ship heavily armed. Will attack without warning. Last seen cruising an area of Persis and Origa. We've seen notify nearest GBI patrol ship at once. Notify nearest GBI patrol ship. <laughs> That's quite a joke. They're closing in on us, Fred. Well, so what? We can outrun and outgun anything the GBI's got. Yeah, sure. Okay, where to now? The planet Cranus. We've got a fuel supply hidden there. After that, we'll take off for our secret planetoid base. After all, we've got a lot of treasure loot to hide. Shades of Saturn, I'm sick and tired of this death work. Missing people, missing jewels, lost spaceships. Find them. Find them. And what are you grinning at like a baboon? Do you think it's funny to be sitting here like the hub in a wheel responsible for every intergalaxy crime and tragedy? No, Dr. Zarko. But it is, if you forgive my saying so, a bit amusing to watch you boil over every 15 minutes and then go back to work. I see what you mean. Well, I guess I can stand being tied to this desk for a few more days until the Galaxy Council gets around to appointing a new commissioner for the Galaxy Bureau of Investigation. Oh, by the way, Alan, you'd better send out that space pirate warning again. I want all patrols kept on the alert. Yes, sir. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. This is a warning. Repeat, this is a warning. Space pirates are at large in Galaxy, piloting black ship heavily armed. This is the asteroid Myos, a tiny, desolate planet, barren and airless, a place where life can be supported only by incredible bravery and terrible privation. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. GBI headquarters, Earth calling all patrols. This is a warning. Repeat, this is a warning. Space pirate on launch in galaxy. Piloting black ship heavily armed. Will attack without warning. Last seen cruising an area of Pertus and Origa. You're rich. Do you understand? We've struck it rich. Oh, Father. I'm so glad, so happy for you. After all these years, after all the disappointments you had. They laughed at me when I said I would try on my eyes. They laughed at me, Murray. Remember? But I knew it was here. I knew it had to be here. And you were right, Father. Of course I was right. I was sure when I got back to Earth, Murray. They won't laugh at me anymore. Why? I'll be the richest man of the galaxy. And do you know what I'm going to do for you, my dear? What, Father? I'm going to fit you out like a queen. Counts from Mars. You can buy a hundred of them. Jewelry from Venus. I will buy you a bushel of it. Your own space run about. The fluid overdrive custom made. Oh, then. It'll be so good to get back to Earth. We have been alone in so many places so long. I know, I know. You've missed a lot out of life. 
taking care of your old father like this. A pretty young girl like you should be going to parties, meeting young men, getting married one day, perhaps. What young man would look at me now? You wait and see. You will be the greatest catch this side of Saturn. Wait till the galaxy hears about this strike. That flash cruises through space, hunting the space pirates. Week after week on assignment from the GBI, it has tried to locate the evasive shadow, the black pirate ship. Ah, oh, it's no use, Flash. We've looked for weeks and weeks, and what have we found? Nothing. You say that again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're all getting sail down. It's been a long sail. You don't have to tell us that, Casey. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think these space pirates are just a rumor. Well, they're around somewhere, Dale. They jumped a claim on Persis, then they moved in and robbed the National Bank on Ariga. I know. And they hijacked three space cargo ships. But where are they? Where's their secret base? And where do they hide their loot? Now, those are questions the whole galaxy would like answered. Planetoid coming up. Get me a locate, will you, Dale? It's, uh, Cranius. Cranius? Mm -hmm. That's a new one on me. Well, it's not a very homey place. It's barren, nobody lives there, and it's alive with plutonium emanations. It won't sustain life for more than four or five hours. It did. What is... Look. Well, there's a spaceship down there, lying in a crawl. I think it could look there. Look at the color, the shape. It's a parachute, isn't it? Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. What are you doing? I don't want them to see us. We're moving under cover of darkness. You think Cranius is their headquarters? No, they wouldn't pick a place like this. Then what's your plan? Our orders are to locate the real hideout of the pirates, find out where they've hidden the loot. And they're going to lead us to it themselves. But how, Flash? Dr. Zarkoff perfected this just before we took off. And this is the answer to our whole problem. What is it? It's an electromagnetic buzzer, kind of an automatic bloodhound. If I can get to the pirate ship and attach this to the tail, It'll send directional signals back to us. Maybe lead us to the real hideout planet of the pirates. Flash, you mean you're going to run the danger of trying to get to the pirate ship? That's exactly what I mean. Through the dark, the sky flash noses down toward Cranius. Well, Flash, before you open the airlock, let me take a plutonium radiation reading, will you? Okay, Dale. It's almost maximum, Flash. Well, we can't stay out there too long, even with our radiation-resistant spacesuits. You stay here, Dale. No sense in having us both take a chance on radiation poisoning. No, I'm coming with you. May need some help. Well, no, this is a one-man job. But I can cover for you in case the power... I'll be watching for them. I'm not back in half an hour. Contact Dr. Zakoff. Close the hatch. Keep out the radiation. All right, Flash.
Ah, here he comes now, and looking very pleased with himself. Flash! He and the girl the dead of radiation poisoning. Ah, why wait? Let's finish them off right now. Huh. GBI headquarters know they're around here. They know we're in the area, too. If they find them murdered, they'll blame us. This way, nature does the job for us. Come on, let's get on. First minute over, you only check in. Report, please. Sky flash, come in. Sky flash, come in. GBI headquarters calling Sky flash. Report in, please. Report in. I'll take over, Alan. Flash. Dale. I'm talking to you on the off chance that you can hear my voice but can't reply. You have ten seconds before we send out an SOS. My plan is to have all the GBI patrol ships in the area where we last heard from you converge and make a planet to planet search. If it is merely that your radio and teleradio communications are out, try to set up some sort of electronic signal that will guide the ships to you. Time is up. Calling GBI patrol ships Space Ghost, Starduster, Meteor. This is an SOS. Repeat, this is an SOS. GBI patrol ship Skyflash is missing. You will proceed immediately to space points T8, G5, T9, H6, T10, I7. The last report from the Skyflash over one hour and 13 minutes ago from that space area. While you were visiting the pirates, they dropped in on me. That's the automatic bloodhound. The pirates have taken off. A transmitter I put in the tail of the ship. It's working. Between that and the Geiger counter, there was enough noise in here to wake up a regiment. I got a good start. We better hurry. Set for a takeoff. Here we go. We're getting off the beam. No, now we're on it again. Flash is coming in strong. You think they're headed for the hideout? I don't know, but as long as this automatic bloodhound works, we'll be hanging on the tail.
What about the electronic communicator, Father? Oh, I guess it's fixed pretty soon, Mary. What are you working on? Oh, just putting down a list of the things I'm going to do the minute we get back to Earth. First, I'm going to go to a beauty parlor and get my hair done. Then a manicure, and then a pedicure, like those rich girls have. Good, good. Then, I'm going to buy clothes. And what clothes? The softest, prettiest things I can buy. Night gowns and evening gowns. Bird clothes. Every one of them imported straight from the Martian fashion designers. Ten dresses for every day in the week. And hats. I'm going to get a hundred hats. The prettiest hats you ever saw. And a pair of shoes to match his outfit. You got it working, Father? Yes. Now, I will send through an electronic message to the mining claims of his own earth. And after that, all we'll have to do is sit back and wait for the space cargo ship to take us home. Fred. Yeah? Just got a message over the electronic receiver. Oh, yeah? What about? You remember that old space prospector, uh, Planetoid Pete? Oh, yeah. He's filed a claim on Myos over the electronic communicator. Myos? That empty planetoid? What would he find there? I don't know. Myos isn't too far from here. Suppose we drop in and say hello to our good friend, Pete. Eh? Why not? <laughs> I'm sure he'll be delighted to see us. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Space planets glide down toward Myos. And to the rear, in the sky flash. Flash, are you sure those space pirates didn't find that electronic bloodhound? I don't see how. I hid it under the tail of their ship. It's been working steadily. Why do you ask? I was just wondering if this could be a trap. The course that buzzer is indicating isn't taking us off into space at all. As a matter of fact, it seems to be leading us to a small and airless planetoid. Are you sure? I'm positive I have it located right here. That's funny. They wouldn't have their stronghold on anything as small as a planetoid. Do you think we ought to call in? Yeah, we'd better report to Dr. Zykoff right away. It's a dangerous. Now, don't try to move it on them alone again, you understand? Sure, I understand, Dr. Zarkov, but... But nothing. Your job is not to capture those men, but to locate their stronghold. And we're pretty sure that Myos is not their home base. Wait until they take off again and then follow them. And when they do land on their stronghold, contact us here. We'll send a fleet of GBI ships to capture it. Is that clear? All right, Dr. Zarkov, everything clear. I'll report to you later. they've landed on Maya. I just got a report over the electronic communicator. Planned toward Pete and his daughter are down there, and they've just discovered Algonaut. That's why they're there. Well, what shall we do about it? There's only one thing to do, land on Myos. But Dr. Zarkov ordered us to cruise around and wait till the pirates took off again. I know, but old Pete and his daughter are down there helpless. These pirates are murderers. We've got to move in. Well, you're right. We'll need our space helmets. There isn't a thimble full of air on that planetoid, and without them, we'd be dead in ten seconds. Who could that be? I don't know, honey. I'm afraid it means trouble. Trouble? Why? If their intentions are peaceful, they would have signaled us that they are coming. Say, don't, don't let them in. I've got to let them in. But why? It could be someone that crashed. Maybe that's why they couldn't signal us. Yes, I'm frightened. Please don't open the door. I have to. It's a code of space. We can't let human beings die out here if we can help them. All right, old man, get your hands up. Who are you? 
What do you want? I told you not to let him in, Father. Well, you are not going to take this claim away from me. I worked all my life trying to find it. What are we waiting for? Let's kill them both, load up with his alcohol, and leave. Oh, we got plenty of time. I'm not so sure about that, Frederick. The old man's broadcast his claim all over the universe. We've taken care of Flash Gordon, yeah. But the rest of the GBI is still looking for us. You dirty thieves. This claim is mine. Mine and my daughter's. Take this. You've got a lot of digging to do. All right, get going. They came in to steal our claim. They were going to make us war for them and then kill us. They were, huh? Well, take them outside, Pete. See that they get a little extra work. Don't worry, I ain't gonna make your back ache. Dale, you better get to the shipping tickets to portable television. We have to call Dr. Zarkov right away. Flash, you shouldn't have done it. You shouldn't have gone in on miles. I told you our main objective was to locate the pirate stronghold. I had to do it, Dr. Zarkov. And I suppose if you had located the stronghold, you would have moved in alone and tried to beat up every pirate in the place single-handed. I guess I did have some such plan in mind. Well, you can forget it. You see, one of our other GBI men has already located the stronghold. He contacted us here, and we've got a fleet on its way to capture it. Glad to hear it, Doctor. Well, any way you look at it, the situation's all cleaned up. And, uh, confidentially. Yes? I guess if I'd been in your place, I'd have done the same thing. You never saw anybody dig so fast, Mercy. Get a real day's work. Got all the argument. I wouldn't try here. Then Marie and you'll come back with us, Pete. Just as you say, but what about the Argonaut? Leave it. We'll leave them with it. Get over here. As soon as we get back, we'll send a GBI patrol ship to pick them up. But Flash, how do we know they won't get away and their spaceship while we're gone? How far do you think they're going to get without these, Dale? 